closet portal, a gateway to the unknown dimension. There was a closet in the old abandoned house at the end of the street that no one dared to enter. Rumours had circulated for years about the strange occurrences that took place inside the closet, and how it was believed to be a portal to another dimension. One very curious and brave young man decided to explore the closet for himself, sneaking past the old, rusty gates surrounding the property and making his way through the overgrown weeds and unkempt backyard. Every step he took brought him closer to the foreboding closet, and with each step, his heart pounded harder and harder. As he cautiously opened the closet door, it revealed nothing but darkness inside. He grabbed his flashlight and shuddered as he stepped inside. The door slammed shut behind him with a deafening thud. All around him, the darkness was so thick, he felt suffocated. He tried to turn back around but the door was gone. All that remained was an endless void of nothingness. He shone his flashlight but it barely illuminated anything. It seemed as though he had disappeared from the world. That's when the whispers began. They were all around him and they sounded like they were coming from another dimension. As the young man's fear grew, he heard footsteps approaching him from behind. He whipped around, ready to face whatever horrors awaited him but there was nothing there. He was alone lost in the abyss. Suddenly, and without warning, the whispers grew louder until they were screaming inside his head. He dropped to his knees, clutching his ears in agony, desperately trying to block out the voices. After what seemed like hours, the screaming finally subsided and all that remained was silence. When the young man finally emerged from the closet, he realized he had changed. He was no longer the person he once was. His eyes had become black, his skin pale and clammy, and a sinister smile adorned his face. From that day on, he wandered the streets as if he was still searching for a way out of that other dimension, and every now and then, people would hear whispers in the dark, and they'd shudder, knowing that the young man was still out there somewhere.